There's no need to do any research. There it is. That's the way it always was. You're sure you don't want this astonishing gum which duplicates the taste of strawberry shortcake in an entirely chemical uh, fashion? The fact is, uh, there is a certain thing as uh, tradition in the uh, audience. I for some reason, I, you know, I, I think they appreciate it, and so I, I'd really like to. Uh, no, not yet. No, we don't. We have to play the Foray's funeral music. Oh, the funeral. And talk about the ducks bobbing on the water, and the, the light coming through the trees. You know, you know I, I just, I, I don't know. Maybe we, we shouldn't do it. I, I guess I, you know, I, I, I wanted to. I, I've got it there, all that stuff, and you know, I talked about how the staff and management, uh, blah, blah, blah. But I guess we'll just go you off here. You want to just do the, uh, the th uh, angle? Banner? Put on funeral music, <laughs> cut number six. Oh, Put on poltergeist, cut number 11. Put on Eric von Stroheim, <laughs> a lyric motion of uh, Zeppelin marchers. And uh, here the Beach Boys celebrate their 70th hit, The Monkey's Uncle, starring Tommy Kirk and uh, Annette uh, Fonicello, shown to our troops overseas in the Vietnam conflict. To please an obvious buffoon-like maniac who proves to be a charlatan to no one's surprise. I mean, he succeeds. He, they have a guy peddling around in this human-powered flight tank. Which, of course, is all bogus. Disney special effects. It's K-Rob's last And dad. they give the guy steroids to make him super powerful so he can pow pedal the device that lifts his uh, human-powered uh, propeller-driven heavier-than-air aircraft. Uh, it simply won't do. It simply won't do. Uh, Annette Funny Jello, star of stage, screen, and sandy beaches. And so it was as told by the old man in the boat. Now at this time, the Ask Dr. Howell show. Oh, and don't forget when I say good night and good morning, that's when we go off to the, the anthem. So we, uh, <laughs> we, we uh, now wish you a beef fondue as the sun sinks slowly uh, into the... Oh, actually, it did that many hours ago, but the I idea is one of closure and completion. Yes, now we've brought it all out before your ears in a strange audio landscape, and now we are tying it neatly with a ribbon. And are we throwing it in the deep blue sea? Well, that's up to you, our faithful listeners. Otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed listening to our ruminations of the sonic tapestry, especially created by Kira, our guest impresario this show. We'd also like to thank Timmy Joan, Pete Goldie for his many contributions, not the least being the Mephitic Vapor, which uh, ennobled and enthralled, even as it instructed. Puzzling evidence from his own eponymous show, the Puzzling Evidence Show on KPFA 94.1 FM on your radio dial every 3 to 5 a.m. Friday morning is here 
in the studio and contributed to tonight's show also. Lastly, we would be remiss if we did not thank the Brazilian astronaut, Tico, who actually descended from his celestial perch long enough to pay us a personal visit here in the studio. The Ask Dr. Hal Show is not sponsored by Zesty Potato Chips or any commercial. It's <laughs> Uh, far from it. I mean, we would accept sponsorship. It's not a... I mean, in fact, that has been suggested, that we should get a sponsor of some kind. I mean, I think they want us to. Anyway, on behalf of the S. Dr. Hell Show and its uh, staff and management, whoever in the hell they are, and me, Dr. Hell and Dell, until next week, it's time to bid you a fond good night and good morning.